Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. So you guys want to hear um, Hell's Half Mile? Okay. Let me clear up a few words with you first because the song is written about an industry existed a hundred years ago. And some of the terminology used in the song is from that time. And if I don't clear it up with you, you won't know what's being talked about. Hell's Half Mile was a section of my hometown, Bay City, Michigan, that was host to lumbermen after they received their pay, lumberjacks, in the late spring of each year. Mainly, this area was on Water Street next to the river, the Saginaw River in my hometown, from about 1850 to 1910. The lumber guys, the lumbermen, were actually called shanty boys. They weren't called lumberjacks back then because they lived in shanties in the woods through most of the winter, which is when they cut. And I'll explain why that was when they worked in a moment. The woods was called the swamp because during the summertime, it was so much water and it was just mucky and you couldn't really get in there and cut trees. So they had to wait for the winter for the ground to freeze so they could get in there and <clears throat> haul the lumber out, cut it and haul it out. So they worked during the winter months. In the song, Daylight in the Swamp, the phrase means sun's up in the woods, get out there and start cutting the wood. So these guys would jump out of their fart sacks, that was your bed, and um, they'd start cutting the wood and they'd pile it up on these big skids, sleds, and it would be hauled out by horse or oxen or later on steam steam engine. Another thing that's referred to in the song are the swampers and those are the guys that actually built the roads into the woods because to clear out all those stumps and rocks and it was an incredibly hard work, it was incredibly dangerous work. The swampers would get in there and build these roads which when you know when it snowed and so forth those became what were called skidways. In fact there's a lake in Michigan called Skidway Lake. So they would haul this lumber out of the woods on these skids and up to a river and they would just pile it up because of course the river would be frozen more than likely. Then when spring came and the water melted, those big piles of, of logs would be pushed into the river and that was called the rollway. People used to come out for that event. It was quite a thing to watch these towers of logs roll into the river. Of course, once they were in the river, they had to be tended to by guys that were called river hogs and they tended the floating logs ensuring that they were marked and that they were floated um, to the you know floated downstream to the correct lumber mill that's kind of how the cycle of work went and of course in the springtime they'd all get their pay and jump on the train or whatever down to bay city michigan down to hell's half mile where they could spend all their money and uh, that's what the second part of the song is about the first part of the song is about their their cycle of work and the second part of the song is about getting to Hell's Half Mile. Now, Hell's Half Mile, there are probably lots of stories that came out of there. Uh, one in particular was about a fellow named Saginaw Joe Fournier. He was a big famous lumberman. He was noted for his strength and his fighting skills. He was said to have an extra row of teeth with which he would leave his mark in the wooden edge of many a saloon bar in the area. So, anyway, he met his demise uh, at the unexpected swing of a mallet from behind. Some said it was deserved. Okay, well anyway, you can certainly go on the internet and look up Saginaw Joe Fournier. But he is purported to be the inspiration for the legendary lumberjack Paul, Be Paul Bunyan. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, another little tidbit about it, about Hell's Half Mile, is um, the catacombs. And those were a series of underground gambling dens I think under Water Street. I, I used to go there when I was a kid. They're no longer, you can't get down there anymore. I think they started caving in or something. They were, they were deemed unsafe. But um, apparently one of them had a trap door in it. And if you were an unpopular fellow, you could be lured to where that trap door was and somebody would pull it and you'd, you'd fall through down into the Saginaw River. And I mentioned in the song, the Red Light and the Walhalla, those were two pubs of the time. And I also mentioned the Bells of Water Street. Well, B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, the women of Water Street, which were also a very popular way to get rid of your money if you came down to Hell's Half Mile. Okay, so that's my, my dissertation. Um, I hope you enjoy the song. Oh, Cadillac and Crump, I need to tell you. Those are two towns near Bay City, Cadillac, Michigan, 
and a place called Crump. They're mentioned in the song. So if you're from Cadillac or Crump, okay guys, here's the song. Swamp. Wake up all you shanty boys Get out there and make you some stumps Get up out of them fart sacks Fill your belly with flapjacks Don't you know it's daylight in the swamp Nobody to the bones, lumber baron builds his pretty homes. Chop through that winter cold. Fell that virgin cork pine. Swampers get it on that skidway line. Teeth of your falling saw to the banks of the second hall. Cut your way right through that winter cold. Work your body to the bones. Don't you know that lumber's wooden gold? Springtime in the swamp. Boys, everyone from Cadillac to Crump Time to get them rollway logs Over to the river hogs Don't you know it's springtime in the swamp Collect your wages with a smile And hit that train to hell's head Thanks for listening.